Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to this multiplayer game of U4. I'm Keb. And I'm Perry. Uh, need better rulers. Let's see. Policies. What have I not been doing lately? Tempted. Bosnia, you really seem to be misunderstanding how this is going to work for you. Really, really seem to be misunderstanding how this is going to work out for you. Ouch. Uh, yeah, we can survive that, I think. Not going to be pleasant, but we'll take it. We'll manage. Yeah, maybe. So, Tidora, I think you had one fort down in Australia, unfortunately. something. Yes, let's demand your points. <laughs> uh, that's gonna make the dimmy hate me. Yeah, oh no. Cool it. Why do you not want Avignon? I think it's time to put an end to this. No reason not to. Well, look, rebels, how quaint. Sad thing is, I can com completely annex Bosnia if I want to. Well, well uh, you'll probably get a bit of a coalition by by doing that. Oh yeah, I know. I'd assume. Not that anyone is out who would coalition you would matter, I guess, but. Yeah, you know, leaving a rump Bosnia behind. doesn't really change much of anything. Although I do need my... What was I? No, I don't really need that. I'm just gonna take half of them. I Such think. restraint. Just stay there, by the way. 
So let's see, Brunei. You're dying to rebels, so you made peace. Have you managed to uh, uh, defeat any of your rebels? There's the end of that war. Wait, you have more land. Uh, where? Oh, you actually have quite a few of the little islands. Well then, um... Did not see that. Uh oh. That's a much, much healthier looking Balkans. <clears throat> much healthier. <laughs> Transylvanian separatists. So, and you still didn't take the, <laughs> take the uh, Austrian provinces up in Russia. I totally forgot about that again, damn it. <laughs> oh well, at this point it's just going to be a running gag. They've got a 50,000 man army stuck there, actually. 35,000 infantry, 11,000 cavalry, 1,000. Flippin' forgot about it. Say la vie. Scotland is now supporting the independence of the English West Indies. Well, of course. I mean, it just, it just naturally makes sense. <laughs> Wait, what? And so does France. Ah, so many rebels. And so little time. Yeah, the 44,000 troops I left behind in Africa are certainly uh, working hard. And dying in great numbers. Just like nature intended. Right? I don't know. Come on, win this battle before you're stack wiped. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna have artillery in the front line soon. Come on. Ouch. <laughs> there are three times as many rebels left, but they have 0 0.03 morale. There we go. They died. <laughs> Four thousand troops survived. <laughs> <laughs> you were cutting that one a little close, weren't you? Oh yeah. My goodness. Yeah, that. <laughs> I mean, discipline is all well and good, but my goodness. I have four provinces in my territory that haven't haven't embraced the Enlightenment yet. It is very sad. Very more troops over to deal with these rebellions. Uh. Oh, that's pretty rough. Oh, and the separatists decide to go over into Ethiopia. Yeah, that's fine. You be there. Be there or be square. Okay, France, we'll tag along for that. 
We're not going to do anything, but we'll tag along. You have been tagged. And where did you go? Ah, where did you come from? How do you suddenly have 6,000 troops there? Oh! Oh, I didn't see that. Uh. Oh, wait. Benin's at war with... It's a tiny little island in the south of Saram. Ugh. Ooh, actually, this might work for me if I can get the French to play along. Oh, I like this. Which Do you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a, getting an option for the uh, warriors. Do not read books. You know, minus one stability. Yes. But I'm strict, so instead I can just lose five prestige instead. I do. I like that they added that to the game. Ooh, Regency for Ming. Go kill them. Oh, I was just hoping that would push them towards losing the mandate to heaven, but... It's never that easy. You're no longer guaranteeing Jin Zhao. So who might war with? Well, that's just an amusing combination. Oh, that's why Florida is where it is. Okay, I feel better. All this time I thought Florida was one of a Scottish a Scottish territory. It's a Castilian territory. Ah, that suddenly makes <laughs> that suddenly explains the whole situation. Using small words so I can keep up. Hey, Castile. There too, you bastard. Ugh. Hey, Casillo, riddle for you. What comes in? What comes in fifty twos? And you have three. And you have three of them. <laughs> You're right. Polish armies. Let's see. You're not a siege general. You're not a siege general. You. Good lord. Oh, I was sad. One of the Byzantine playthroughs I was trying. I had. An event where a uh, a civilian wins a, a jousting tournament. Yeah. Gives you a army tradition one hundred general. And my God, was he an impressive general? Never could get a war going with him before before he died, but but it was like a it was like a five six four three or something like that. He's like, I'll take two of him. Uh, you know what I need to build now? Now! Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Now all I need to do is shift my culture to Greek, move my capital to Constantinople, become Byzantium, conquer the Papal States, switch to Italian, become Rome. Wait. You still no. have fifty years. And then some. <laughs> How you yeah, well, if you could do it in fifty years. Sure you oh, can. Oh, I'm sure people I'm sure there are people that can, yeah. It's <laughs> I, I see some of the speed achievements and stuff out there and it's like I'm just scratching my head in amazement. Let's see now, who has the potato? The potato? Who has the potato? Yes. What would the potato be? The potato is held by the Castilians. 
Okay. So we don't want to challenge them because they have the potato. But what they don't have is the radish. Since they have, they don't have the radish, I can fight them on land. Okay. No, I was just checking the size of the Castilian fleet. I was going to move my my uh, heavy sh heavy ships down to the down to the Mediterranean Sea from the Baltic. <laughs> oh, why does this game? Why does the generating generals and admirals effect basically generate drooling morons? As opposed to, like, useful people. Ah, oh, Coach Arl, you won't accept a threat. I'm sad. And then you got over it. What about you, England? You'd fall for the threat. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. The second time in 200 years, the Polish fleet is trying to sail to the Mediterranean. And the real question is, will this fleet survive the actual trip, unlike the last fleet? France would accept my lights. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't want to be dragged into their wars. Yep. What's up? What are we talking about? Thank you. 
Austria is sowing discontent. Why would they be mad at me? What have I done to them? Nothing, I'd imagine. Well, obviously, you need to go do something to them, then. I've left them out. Now, this Bosnian territory being being added. <laughs> Portugal and Castile allied say it ain't so. That never happens. Never. Never except always. Turco-Polish tensions. I gain a cause, but I gain a claim on, on a border province and fifty thousand manpower. Mm, sounds pleasant enough. I'll take the manpower. <laughs> Beginning to run a little low. My ships, there we go. There you are. Let's... The good news, I know where the Castilian army is. Bad news, the, Cast the Castilian's army is whereabouts are known. Actually, if I was them, I would get the hell away from where they parked. Because the one fourth that I'm besieging falls, then they have. Four times their number in mine and papal troops available to attack their army. And that generally doesn't end well. Everybody wants to secure Korchin's existence. Boo. And they still won't fall for a threatening a war. How dare they? Who do they think they are? Make if I know. Okay, so who still has trade power here? Portugal. The Ottomans, England. And Betsy Misaraka. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Greenland, and Sweden. Oh, however, however that's the biggest. I can only get the first verse. I do not have the talent to do the whole song. As long as you remember, the Spanish Sahara is gone. Oh, come on. It's more fun when it was called Rio de Oro. It's just funny thinking back to that song, how much the words map has changed since that song was sung. Oh, yeah. But it's... The, of course, I remember from the Animani Anim Animaniacs, but... Uh, does it, How long ago is it, actually? How, how old is that song? Uh, 95, I think. Oh, it's actually that recent? I thought it was much older. I Animaniacs was after I was out of high school, so that mid '90s. I suppose it has to be because it says Russia instead of Soviet Union and that kind of stuff. I don't recall if they mention all the stance. I know they didn't list all the countries, but still. Well, they list a bunch of things that aren't countries, so. It's called artistic license, I suppose.
Yeah, the first episode aired in September of 93. <laughs> you went to the Wikipedia, didn't you? Of course. And then actually they had six seasons. Ah, <sighs> you're guaranteed, are you? Okay, fine, let me threaten war for, say... Oh! <laughs> you didn't actually board it. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, it's, a, it's one of your cores, I think, yeah, so that's going to be fine. And it's that time. Okay, I guess we'll take a short break before we continue conquering the world. Well, I'm conquering Europe. He's got the rest of the world on his, on his plate. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>